David, welcome to the workshop. So today we're going to make a gift for the wife. So I think we're going to do a bit of turning. Welcome to Wooden Stuff Workshop. problem with a small workshop is having to move stuff before you can use other stuff. Right, so we drag this to the front of the bench. And then I just screw it down to stay there so it don't wobble about. just put screws in the diagonals on this that should hold it steady this is only a cheap lathe that uh, cheap lathe that I've got here and there is a video for me uh, restoring this I'll put a link to the playlist for that but it's okay for me for now because I don't do a lot of turning. Lovely. What I'm going to do is be turning a pen. I've never done it before, but uh, I've bought a little pen kit. I'll go and fetch it now and show you what I've got. Right. So this is the uh, little kit that I bought. So I've got a mandrel here. Pen turning mandrel. And on this one, all it is is a straight bar with threads at this end with a, uh, a knurled brass screw piece that does up. But this end's got nothing. So I'm assuming with this one it just fits in a chuck or something because a lot of the others have a Morse taper on the end that goes into uh, your lathe whatever you know the taper is taper size on your lathe but this cheap this cheap Clark lathe it doesn't even have a Morse taper but all there is on here is uh, threaded threaded bar that comes out and then you fit things onto there and I thought oh I've got a chuck so I'll be able to put this in a chuck in here but the chuck that I've got is too big it's massive so they won't close up enough anyway to hold that so uh, we'll have to go to plan B but anyway so this is what I got that mandrel pen turn mandrel for some reason I've just got two bushes because I see with a lot of other uh, with a lot of others you at least get three so that you have one at either when you've cut your two pieces of wood you got one at either end and one in between them as well so I've got to get around that some way I think I'll have to turn one piece at a time and then these are the uh, pen part but anyway I'll show you them as we go along but yeah just got to overcome this for a start uh, unless that's supposed to be used some other way that I don't know but I did see it and think well I haven't got a Morse taper lathe anyway so uh, I'll be able to put that in a chuck which I will be able to do. So a second plan because I can't use this now 
I'll have to move this back out of the way and I think we might be able to do it on my little metal turning lathe. So I'll push this out of the way and go and fetch that and we'll see if we can use that. So this is my little metal working lathe. I'm wondering if we can uh, make this work. Because on this, this mandrel will be able to go right through this chalk and I'll be able to position it because it comes out the end there. So I'll be able to put this to where I want. And this is only a little chuck, so it'll be able to grip that lovely. We haven't got a tool rest, so we've got this tool holder, the metalwork one, but be able to remove this and make some kind of rest. Or just put something there for me to rest my chisel on. Uh, so let's try and set this up to be able to use this. So this is what I've done for the tool rest. So uh, it's just got an angle bracket clamped onto here. So that'll be able to sit on there for me to use that. If there is, it does wobble a bit at the end there, could do, but I'll try and hold it steady. Should be all right, I think. We'll find out. And the good thing is that I can move all this along by winding so I can wind the tool rest to where I want it as well. So we've got this set up. So now we can get on with uh, trying to make the pen then. So I'm going to cut down a block for us to use for a start. I think that's the first step for this. So I've just cut this uh, walnut down to 20 by 20, so 20 mil by 20. And all I'm going to do is cut a piece now for these. So these brass inserts that you get in the kit, I just want enough for both pieces of that with a bit of extra as well. So I'm going to cut these into two, but I'm not too precious at the minute about getting them square because we've got to square the ends off, um, flatten the ends off when the brass inserts are in there anyway. So we'll just cut these off on the bandsaw here. Right, so now we need to mark a cross on the ends to find the centres and drill a hole through these. I'm going to get a little square just on the uh, corner there just to check that I've got it at 90 degrees in there. It's a 7mm drill bit because that's what you need with these pen kits. got these holes drilled through there they feel a bit it's very easy to get it for that brass pipe to go through them but what's going to happen is I'm going to use CA glue and some activator to glue them inside of there 
but the first thing you want to do is get your brass tubes like I say I haven't done this before all I've done is seen a couple of uh, YouTube videos on it and what you're trying to do is just scuff up you just put in some uh, some abrasions in the brass tube and you want to go across the tube not in the length it's just for the uh, just for the glue to stick to gives it a bit of a key so just go across it like that on both pieces so the way I'm doing this is I'm just trying to make a pen just with what I've got right so now they're ready for gluing in we've got to glue that piece in there and have the brass right inside of the uh, inside of the wood so let's get this glue on there and twist it around as we're putting it in like I say make sure the brass is below the below the wood surface just wipe that off so that's one Just spray it just in case, just to just to let it activate. Right, we'll just put that to the side and do the other one. So, what I'm up to now is I'm flattening these ends off and stopping just where the brass is on there as you can see there so what it's doing is making these nice and square you can the actual things you get in some of the bigger kits the tools you get sometimes you get a tool that you that goes inside fits on your drill and it will drill it flat at the top and the same the other side it, guides inside the tube and drills the wood down and makes it all flat to the size uh, obviously I'm just doing this with whatever I've got and this uh, the kit that I got is only cheap one uh, I think it was 12 pounds for the mandrel and the one, a pe uh, one pen kit that's probably why I only got two bushes with it but anyway so what I'm doing here because I haven't got the proper tool I've just got this all set up, I've checked it with my square to make sure this is at 90 degrees and just sanding these down till I get to uh, to get to the brass and try and keep it all at 90 degrees and the one that's quite far in I'm just quickly sanding this down till I'm nearly at it nearly at the brass and then just finishing it off just on there but it seems to have worked okay got them nice and flushed down I'm going to have to do one piece at a time, like I say, because we've only got two bushes. <clears throat> I've got to try and keep these 
in the right orientation as well with them two marks there to keep them like that all the time so I know that when I finish them that's the way they go together so I have to decide which one of these I want for the top of the pen and which for the bottom lovely so we've got the bush on there then our piece another bush and then this knurled screw piece there to tighten up so it's on the threads and we're just pinching it up there to stop that wood spinning round so we've got that in there and now we can slide that across and just put it in the a little hole at the end just to support it a bit and tighten this up now when you tighten this up you're not really pushing in there all you're doing is supporting it so just a little bit on there and that should just keep that nice and steady and stop it wobbling about so let's try. trying something else the wood one getting gripped well enough um, when I was doing this up this screw what was happening it was pulling this mandrel through the uh, chuck on here and because this chuck's just a hand tightening one you know I can't grip it good enough so when I was doing this up to tighten the wood it was just pulling this through so what I've done I don't know if you can see there drilled a hole through this uh, mandrel where I need a hole and put some wire just wrapped through and the idea is that when I put this through the end of uh, the lathe here that won't be able to pull through because it'll be pulling on that wire and then tighten this up and hopefully we'll get enough uh, gripping force there to hold the wood and I'm not supporting this end because this end because this is a fixed end in this lathe it's sort of binding a bit so that was making it even worse so I took that away this isn't sticking too far out anyway so it doesn't really need the support so I'm hoping that's going to help with this so we'll find out so like I say we've got the wire through there I've tightened this up and it can't pull out the chuck that way so now it is gripping this. I've got the spacers turned to the wide side for a start to sort of give it more surface while I'm just taking off the uh, worst of this, of the wood, of this walnut. And then we'll swap them round and put them the side that we need the bushes, you know, to be able to turn the wood down to the right side. got it down to there but now we need to turn these bushes round so I can carry on turning it down that up and then what you do is turn down just before you get to the uh, diameter of these smaller bits on the bushes and then you sand it to where you want it
just sanding it down I've got a curve on it I want it to go in at the ends and bulge out a bit in the middle this is the top of the pan and yeah we'll just keep sanding till we get down to the bushes <laughs> So here's where we're at, we kept sanding finer and finer until we've got it a lovely finish along there. So the last, um, the last bit of sanding you do, so you usually sand it like that, uh, the last bit you just go along the grain and turn it around and just keep going along the grain to get any marks out. So that's lovely like that so I've got it tapering in at the ends just a slight bulge there so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put some wax on this all I've got is some of this Axminster clear paste wax I'm gonna try that because like I said I'm just using what I've got so let's see how we get on with that So like I say, this is the top of the pen on here and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the bottom so I'm going to keep that that way because that had the uh, mark on there for lining up so I'm going to keep that, that's the top of the pen and then I'm going to turn the bottom exactly the same but uh, I'm going to have a straighter bottom piece that you hold so we'll do exactly the same as this with that and then we'll be assembling it after that so let's leave this on here just for a short while and then we'll turn it on and buff it up and then probably put another coat on we'll see got these two parts done I've kept them in line so they go that way on turned them walnut so they got the brass inserts inside so the other parts you get is the tip of the pen you get the ring that goes in the middle you got the uh, twisting part that fits in the end there and that's what the ink refill fits into that goes in there and screws into there and then you've got the clip uh, the pen clip and the top and what I've got to do I've got to press these pieces into these you can get proper tools to do this job but I'm just going to try with uh, one of these clamps so we'll see how we get on so I'll keep them in the right orientation so the first thing I'm going to try is pushing the end uh, the end of this pen into here and when you squeeze it up in between here you've got to make sure it stays straight so it doesn't go screw with else it will ruin your uh, pen so let's have a go it's pressing up got to re get ready to stop as soon as it gets tight up so that's pressed up to there next job we need to press that piece into the into this end there 
and stop just shy of the indent just there. Oh, that wasn't the pen that you heard. That was the that was the clamp breaking. So that clamp has just broke just here. Right, that's better. Right, so we've got that piece, so now that ring piece goes over there. Onto there. We need to get this end and put it through through the clip there, keep this the right way and now we're going to press these together so now I'm going to have to go and fetch another clamp so that's nice and tight this one isn't chopping in anything so my clamp is still in good nick so that's press that in there, tie it up, there's the clip working properly and then this just goes on to the end of there, push it on like that and all you do is line up your grain, you can twist this until you get the grain lined up and then that's it. So there we go, that's what it looks like, not bad for the first one, so uh, right's okay, now just got to see if the wife likes it, but yeah that works a treat. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, if you could give us a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you can consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. So, uh, I'll clear all this lot up, and I'll catch you next time.